Yeah. So yeah, what is the, to know about the business side? Have you built your business and accelerated as fast as possible to get the financial results? Okay, yeah, um, this is pretty arbitrary, but yeah, let's do it. Um, yes, I mean, the, the business pretty much evolved off giving value. It evolved off me giving free content. Same thing that RSD does, putting these videos out there, these hour-long videos. I didn't do hour-long videos, but I did, you know, the, just when you build a lot of free content and you develop a strong theme, um, Eventually, you'll be able to you know, create a solid business. I mean, there's so much stuff going on, but when I first started, I was like, how do I make something unique? How do I make something unique that stands out, that's cool? And the way I kind of figured that out is, I was like, you know what? There wasn't really any fitness brand or protocol or anything that really spoke to me. There wasn't something that really spoke to me. I'm like, this is fucking badass, because I wanted, you know what, I was tired of all this shit around bulking up, getting huge, and, you know, and this, all this obsessive bodybuilder stuff. I was tired of that nonsense. I want to have the athleticism to you know, be able to do muscle ups and jump high and have power. You know, I want to be able to live my life and enjoy life. Have great meals and, and, and whatnot and have that, 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 that physique that I thought was cool. Not like some big bodybuilder, not like some marathon runner, but like you know, Brad Pitt and Troy. I was like, that shit looks cool. I see that looks cool. I see you know, some bulky dude that's 220, it just looks stupid. So I kind of de developed my own little brand around that and uh, because it was unique, there, were, there wasn't a lot of people hitting those points. How to get in crazy shape, enjoying life, training three days a week, be able to eat fucking steak and potatoes, having a couple of drinks on the weekend, you know? How do you build that physique that looks really good, like a Hollywood actor? Not just putting on mass, not just putting on 20 pounds, but having that low body fat, you know, that, that not overdone, but like that balance. And how do you be powerful too and be strong? That was kind of, so I, I kind of, if you're gonna penetrate the market with nothing new to say, then it's useless. You don't wanna just be another spin-off. You wanna have something new to bring to the table. And the way you do that is you think and see, what, is, what do I wanna see that's not already out there? That's the best question to ask yourself. What do you wanna see that's not already out there? What would be so cool? And you create that shit. And then it doesn't, you know, you don't, I wouldn't just create a product and hope people buy it. You have to build this audience, put out free content, and get better and better and better. And then once you put out a lot of free content, people are gonna whine and buy your shit. Yes? Oh yeah, um, I was I did affiliate affiliate stuff. So I, I did some YouTube videos and some some articles, and I was promoting a product by my friend Rusty Moore, and I just said, hey, this is the program I'm using. I was using it at the time. It's giving me really good results, and I just gave a lot of articles and videos on different topics. And then someone went through the link and bought it, and I made thirty three dollars, and I was like, yes. I thought that was I was so excited when I went when I made that first sale because it just pretty much meant that if I could make one sale. I can make a thousand sales. If I can get one person to buy, now I'm consistent and, I'm, and, and I keep going, I can sell a thousand, I can sell 10,000. So people get so focused on getting those, getting six figures in, in three months, it's like it's gonna take time. It's like love that process. You know, make those small little incremental, yeah. So how are you driving uh, traffic to your YouTube channel or your website or whatever? Yeah. Um, it's kind of a big thing, right? I mean, you can have the best product in the world, and uh, you know, obviously, you have your affiliate linked up there, but if people aren't seeing it. You know, then you're not making any money. So you know, an advertising can be very expensive at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I did, at first five years, I didn't know advertising. I just hustled. You know, it just you know, being really consistent, putting out awesome videos that people want to see, being smart, looking at like what keywords. Are there, there's a high search volume, but low amount of you know competition. And you know, putting out videos with great thumbnails and, 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 and just writing a lot of you know, long form articles that rank on Google. Just this mix and match, but also creating, creating stuff that people want to share. You know, Because it, it's easy to get so stuck into the whole mechanics of like what's going to rank on Google and what's going to do this. It's like you want to create really, really good content that people are going to stick around for. Um, there's no magic answer. You know, just, just kind of just being consistent, putting shit out. And for the first while, probably no one's going to care, but you got to be consistent with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the article stuff's been out for a while. I mean, many years people have been taking advantage of that. There's like software that pretty much creates articles for you based on content that scrapes from the webs and yeah. you know, kind of just spins words together and gives you new content. But you know, Google's actually downranking all that stuff now. Right, so yeah, you gotta It hurts you more and more than uh, you know, helping. But uh, back in the day, you know, 10 years ago, it was good. But YouTube, I think, uh, you know, ranks pretty But I, I think that's one of the issues right there is kind of just like, creating bullshit articles to kind of rank. It's like you want to create really good, high, valuable content that people want to see. Don't just kind of just
pump out crap articles to get to get traffic. Like keep it the valuable you stuff. Any advertising, like yeah. Facebook yeah, advertising. Yeah, yeah. Like Austin over there is my Facebook ad dude. He's killing it with some crazy art. Don't st I shouldn't talk. He's shit. I don't want anyone to steal him. He's crap. Fucking horrible. Down tons of money. All right, that was a short little uh, clip from the speech I did. Hopefully it gave you a couple little tips on how I built this business. The really, really main takeaway is thinking like really hard and just figuring out what do you want to see? What do you want that's not already out there that you're passionate about and putting it out there and working on it and hustling and thinking about ways to grow and just pushing in. I got more advice coming really soon, um, but that's kind of what kind of was the catalyst to building this brand, which now does you know well over seven figures a year in sales. And the best part is I didn't have to do stuff I didn't want to do. You know, I always what was most important to me was being it was having integrity, it was being honest, it was creating programs I truly believed in. I don't believe in supplements. I think supplements aren't that effective, and I think they're not worth the money. So I don't sell any supplements. I can make a lot more money selling supplements because you're gonna be able to buy it month to month or make a lot more money doing a membership site with like new bullshit workouts every month. But my thing is really teaching people how to fish, explaining the programs, giving them like several months of workouts they can do, showing them, you know, how to do everything, providing Facebook groups and forums. And I have, I actually hire some coaches that just answer those questions in these forums and Facebook groups, just giving tons of value. And I charge like $40 for a program just once. I don't do any membership stuff. And so I was able to build a very successful business, which has created quite a few jobs um, and make a lot of money really helping people and being honest and sharing as much value as possible, which I think is amazing. I would much rather take less money and feel powerful and, and honest and good for what I'm doing. Though I truly believe that in the long run, you're better off having incredible customer faith. Everyone that goes through my programs, they are left with a great, great feeling, like they got way more value um, than what they paid for, which I think is extremely, extremely important. So um, this fitness channel I have is kind of evolving. I wanna talk a little bit more about stuff in the whole lifestyle sphere because I think as important as it is to build an awesome body, I think it's important to build a life that you're truly proud of, not just your physique, you know, but your 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 business life, your career life, and you're just taking that the step in the right direction to do what you truly love doing, to feel passionate about that. Or, you know, the, you know, as well like have, you know, have whatever the social life or of you that you really want or you know just feel like your whole life is something that you know you're you're happy about and you're proud of and that's more than just fitness so um that was a sh the first little clip that i got into on, on kind of some, some some of the whole success mindset that that, that, that building this brand took um we're gonna go way more heavy into the later videos from this speech um getting some really cool stuff and actually what i want to do soon is I'm gonna to travel to some cool cities, probably starting in Toronto, and I wanna, you know, do some some high level kino body um, um, uh, meetups with just a select few people, like maybe just like 10 people max. You know, go to a coffee shop, go talk there, go do some training, and then go get an awesome meal and some cocktails and discuss how to really create your own dream reality, your own dream business, and what it took to build kino body. Um, but anyways, uh, for now, just uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button, and I don't mean to like throw out numbers or try and impress you or this and that. I just more so just want to show you what's possible. Um, that you know you can, you know, actually build something awesome because I did this. No one thought I was going to do this. So take action. You know, think about really what you want. And my best tips are going to come in one of the later videos. So stay tuned on that. Um, and again, I said this before, it's not just about hitting some number, it's about waking up every day to feel like you're doing the stuff you fucking want to do. Like you're living the dream. Like you're helping people, and creating value. And I don't understand all these people that have businesses that, that kind of, that are shady or kind of rip people off or deceive people into signing up for something that's more expensive than what they thought. I don't understand that. Because I believe in having a good taste in the mouth, whatever, so to speak. Um, that's just the way I live my life. I want everyone out there to feel good about what they did. And guess what? They do. It's incredible. If you're part of my program, you'll see just thousands of members in these forums and Facebook groups just sharing awesome, positive results and, and experiences and just being totally blessed. It's, and it's so powerful 
what handling your fitness can do to you. You know, as I said in other videos, for me, conquering my fitness goals is what gave me the confidence to live the life that I wanted. It gave me the confidence and feeling like I can achieve something to go after some business goals, to go after um, getting out of my, my, my box. I used to be really shy. I used to be kind of scared to talk to people. Um, I was comfortable with like, you know, my family and like close, close friends, but being around other people, I'd get really nervous and anxious. People don't know that about me. <laughs> I just did a fucking speech in front of like 80 people. Well, yeah, like it, it, working out gave me the confidence to do all that stuff. And so, you know, sharing this stuff and sharing people, sharing with people my approach that just made things so effortless and enjoyable is worth so much. So at the very least, enjoy, like absorb the content in my videos, on my channel, on my blog, but the best thing to do is to go a little bit step further, invest in yourself. And, and let me tell you, there's a reason why I get so many transformations from people that buy my programs is because everyone's laid, everything is laid out there. They have the support group, they're motivated to take the pictures, and guess what? They put a little bit of money on the line. They invested the 40, 50 bucks. That makes them invest in the program. Um, and when you do that, you're more likely to succeed. Whereas people that just do the free content, you know, it's easy to get swindled and, and try this and that and this and that. Sometimes you just gotta fucking, you know, um, just take that little bit of action, put something on the line to get shit done. So anyways, that's another tip right there. If you're trying to build a business, you want people to invest in it. You want to, you, people will get better results when they start to spend a little bit of money. You know, when I used to do coaching where I charge people 500 bucks just to set up their plan for a few months, they would get insane results, not because it was like way better than buying my products, it was, you know, a little bit, you know, as you get you get me to answer your questions and all that, but you get the same experience now buying my products because of the Facebook groups and the people answering their questions. But the people doing my coaching would get insane results every time nearly because they paid 500 bucks. So um, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and share your comments. And that is all. Bye-bye. <laughs>